flip flop or flip flip flop. But it's like, hunter hunter type of. Okay, got, got you, got you, no, it's... got you. Okay, okay. So a flip flop, right? So this is like this is like probably like your. Will you consider this like your masterpiece at the, at this current moment? Like this is like your baby right now. Yeah, that's my baby. That's okay, my baby. got you. Cool. I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you something else to work with, but not this. One. Yeah, yeah. So I want I would love for you to to kind of dive into like you know uh, your inspiration for that, and I uh, yeah I would just love for you to know like kind of what is the um, why you made it. Uh, I know like I know you're Christian, and I would love to get into your your Christian background, kind of just your story within that and, and regarding faith. Um, so if you want to mix all that in, I would love to just hear like all. Okay, so how this began. So it started off 2017. Uh, 2016, I had got saved around like, you know, the spring or summer. And after that, I was, you know, starting my relationship with God, my relationship with Jesus and growing spiritually. And then so I was learning how to fast and learn how to grow uh, spiritually and protect myself and spiritual warfare. Those things are very interesting to me because that's a part of like my testimony and in, in engaging with the spirit, spiritual realm. And now I was like, now I have the word to like, armor myself and cover mm. myself you know what i'm saying like i was out in the battlefield with nothing on so a lot of the fights and things that i put into flip-flop are spiritual in nature um but yeah so i got flip-flop i was fasting and the idea just came to me and so i was just sketching i started off with just sketching the character wearing flip-flops and what was coming to me was that verse where it says um he gives the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and the strong or the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Mm. And I had to I had to put that in chapter one or yeah, chapter yeah, one. It was, it was chapter one, yeah. Yeah, because it really spoke to me because I'm thinking about like in parallel to Dorian's situation with his flip-flops. Think about like before art really started popping off and things like that. I mean, art has its, you know, different periods of times where everyone is appreciative of it or even, you know, honor it. But there was, you know, there's periods of times where art is seen as something that's like a bad choice. It's not realistic. It's not optimal. But it's like even then, God can use something so, so foolish as a comic book or so foolish as a paintbrush mm -hmm. to lead people to something greater. Or, you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it really inspired me to continue that. And it's, it's like a parallel to my walk with God. I ain't going to lie to you. Because yep. sometimes I feel like, especially with having, you know, my, my dad is Jamaican, so, and my mom, she's older, so they're both kind of like in a survival mindset of, like, just work, mm. do something that will get you money guaranteed, and when we're operating off of passion, operating off of creativity, it's not really optimal in their eyesight, and so God was, like, reassuring me that he could use the foolish things, mm. the simple things, he could use it to make it something mighty something that I can't even imagine. So it's like, it's not by my power, but it's by his spirit now. So it's like, I can't even get the glory for it, you know? Hey, yo, hey, okay, yo, you, yo, all right, we, 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 we preach it, we, we preach it, okay. no, 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 we, we preach, we preach in 10 minutes into the, into the interview, yo, I love this, I, yo, I, I am, I am amazed by you talking, especially like, cause I, I read, I, I read the first chapter and, uh, when, uh, What's his name? Uh, main character Dor Dor Dorian. Uh, Dorian. Yo, <laughs> he got he got the flip flops. He was like, "Yo, what's going on here? Is this a joke?" And then like the background, which I'm assuming I don't. What was that? Was the uh, the character that said like, "Hey, like God, he, God uses the foolish things." To, was that was that God or was that like that was just some that was just somewhat that was yeah, just somewhat, it's like uh, a spiritual leader. It was got you. As you go. Got you. When he said that, I'm like. That's exactly how I feel if I got some flip flops to fight. Like it's just like, what, what, like why am I giving these flip flops to like try to you know fight off the you know the the, the uh, uh, evil demons, enemies, stuff like that. But like that verse, it's like yo, resemblance of like what God has actually done through Jesus. It's like yo, who would imagine that like you would have a uh, a God send Himself to go die for people? That's like crazy. Like people, like you tell people that, and they're just like. That's that's stupid. Like, why is that? Why is that even considered like a hero story? But it's like yeah. it's like that. Hey, it's foolish to some people, but God uses it to save people. And yo, 